there is a lot of uh, uh, similarity between what we do and what even the medical field does. Actually, I was excited to see the last slide that spoke about CR4. We have a, a similar item that is called three to the cube, but because repair, rehabilitation, and restoration okay. is also what we do. We don't work with cells, yeah. but we look at uh, cell feeling materials, for example, how to seal the cracks in concrete. So it's not as exciting as the stuff that you do, and it doesn't touch people as directly as the work that you do. But uh, when you drive over bridges or you live in buildings such as this, you might think that uh, we also do a little contribution to the welfare um, of humankind. The um, presentation is very short. I have uh, just less than 10 slides, and the credit that really doesn't go to me is uh, um, Justina Magistrati who prepared the presentation and asked me to make it on the behalf of ISNAF. And uh, the thing that I like about this presentation the most is the title and the word bridge there. But We'll see. And she was very kind to put the picture right there. As you can see, uh, the mission of ISNAF is really to promote this scientific uh, collaboration and uh, technological uh, exchange, you know, primarily among the North America. This includes Canada, even if we're so far away, and obviously Italy. And so this is kind of the spirit of this organization that we could say uh, is truly national. Uh, the founding fathers are listed here. The organization started in 2008, and there is some names that you can uh, very well recognize, including uh, Professor Ricordi. Uh, so as kind of it was, it's apparent from the uh, exchange today, the medical field seemed to have predominance. But uh, as I was mentioning to the ambassador, uh, perhaps in the, uh, not so much the research area, but the cultural exchanges uh, in the other disciplines that the University of Miami covers, there is a lot of activities, for example, at the undergraduate level, where we have students coming over from Italy and uh, completing their thesis during what they call Specialistica. Now you know that the programs in Italy are 3 plus 2, and we do the same uh, exchanging students uh, with Italy to go there and take special courses that perhaps we do not offer. See, uh, if you look at the uh, uh, activities and the type of networking that we have here, we have uh, uh, affiliates, so that's the type of membership, and the requirement to be an affiliate are very simple. You have to be some sort of uh, tie to Italy and have worked um, in, the, in an institution in North America for at least uh, one year. Uh, we have a directory of uh, participants and that could be uh, utilized or uh, checked uh, through the internet. Uh, this network uh, uh, covers over 300 cents of excellence in, the, uh, in North America, so this is kind of a, a very significant uh, uh, type of uh, uh, broad net that we uh, cover the entire territory. If you look at the second to last paragraph, we promote uh, this young uh, ISDF uh, uh, activity. And this is really uh, very important because the future is in, obviously in the new generation. And we look at this at under 40 individuals. Uh, obviously, there is uh, uh, activities officially through the chapters that are also uh, um, co-sponsored by uh, the consulates and the cultural institutes uh, throughout the country. The type of programs uh, that we have could be summarized into these uh, three categories. Uh, the advocacy part is perhaps the most evident. Uh, we provide uh, uh, advisory, uh, advisory activities to the Italian government. The uh, um, ambassador just mentioned uh, the redrafting of the women between the US and Italy, and ISTA was uh, uh, involved in providing uh, the ambassador with some ideas. Uh, there is awards. This is also very important to recognize, particularly the young talent. And uh, hopefully, we are active in opinion making. The networking, it's uh, kind of the backbone of the organization, this database that I just uh, briefly mentioned. Uh, we do also this ad hoc uh, matchmaking, something, for example, in my field uh, has happened very recently with great success. And then we have uh, ISA, the online encyclopedia of Italian 
intellectual migrate. <coughs> uh, finally, the uh, bridging and the training, this is also very important. Uh, there is technology transfer, and uh, before me it was mentioned how important is the human capital. So this is the investment in human capital. Uh, the postdoc fellowships, particularly in the fields of uh, molecular biology and environmental sciences, fellowships for surgery, internship, this, I'll have another slide on this issue, and then uh, we have uh, uh, three other type of activities there. Uh, the, the partners, obviously you see the list of Italian uh, um, institutions, uh, and I don't need to read them to you, but obviously we're very grateful about uh, our embassy. Uh, there is an Italian institution to the right hand side that are um, obviously participating and then on the uh, left hand side the bottom line uh, indicates the Italian uh, foundations and association that also participate. Um, I think this is a fairly interesting slide to show you what is happening in terms of some of these activities that materialize in uh, things that really affect people at the end of the day. The postdoc fellowship in molecular biology, and I think to this uh, Professor Ricordi can speak uh, much more intelligently than I can since he's hosting uh, fellows in his lab and I'm uh, sure uh, is also coordinating work with the other institutions. And then something that just happened for the first time this year is the summer internship for young Italian engineers. Uh, what ISTA has done is uh, developed um, a relationship, actually a partnership with Consiglio Nazionale di Ingegneri, and they are promoting 10 uh, internships uh, for a month, two, one to two months in the United States starting this summer. Uh, we will be hosting at least uh, one of these individuals uh, here at UN. It's very interesting to see the dynamics of this. Uh, uh, once the uh, announcement or the request for proposal was uh, issued, in the period of a week, uh, I personally had uh, seven inquiries from Italy. Uh, young engineers, uh, of these seven, uh, actually five of them were practitioners. So very interesting to see that not only the, what we would define the research community is interested in this type of activities, but also the practitioners, uh, the individuals who don't necessarily have intention to leave the country, but really would like to broaden uh, their understanding of uh, world, uh, worldwide activities. Uh, with this, I'm at my last slide. These are the coordinates, and I think that Antonello is really uh, the key person here in terms of gathering. Uh, People. And if you have any question related to organization, I think he is more experienced than I am uh, in uh, addressing these issues. Thank you very much.